three, two, one. Welcome back to Bean Gaming. What does everyone think of the update today? We have the new exclusive units, the Funtime Foxy. I have that one. The Funtime Freddy got that one. The Ballora have that one. Still on the search for the Circus Baby, so that way we can get the new Anard. Well, that's not the focus of today's topic. What we're going to do is we're going to evolve not one, but two of the evolvable units that just came out today. First of all, we have, where is it? The Shiny Endo 02. Put that on lockdown, of course. And then we have the Vengeance Scott. That's already on lockdown. We're going to evolve those two, and let's just go see what kind of materials we need for both of those. Let's click on... What should we do first? Let's do the Scott, just in case we don't have enough materials, but I think we do. Scott requires three Agony, which is actually relatively cheap. Five of these Crying Souls, only 200 regular souls, 250 flashlights, and then eight eternal glasses. You know we have to evolve it, and there's something interesting that happened with Scott today. We're going to talk about that in a little bit. Are you sure you want to evolve? You Yes! He's gone. He disappeared. Hopefully he's in my inventory. Over with and done. Scott had a major, major nerf today. And actually, the Evolve Scott, I should say, because Scott was only one placement. We're going to get to that in a little bit. But then the Shiny, Endo-02. Endo-02, he's been missing for so long. Haven't seen him in a game in quite some time. Dev said, it's time to get you back in the game again. So we need four Agony. We need five Crying Souls. 300, wow, 300 regular souls. 250 flashlights, and then 15 Eternal Glasses. Wow, that is... His evolution must be amazing. Now, let's click on Evolve. Are you sure you want to evolve? You Yes! The Shiny Endo is gone. I don't even know what the Shiny Endo 02 turned into, but I know that Scott turned into the Anna... What was it again? Anna... What was his name? Oh, there he is. The Vengeance Anim Dude. Right there. Splash damage. And with Vengeance on it, 125. Let's go. Attacks, Strike... Twice. Shouldn't it say attack strikes twice? I don't know, but it's the recursive volley. So I wonder if this damage actually needs to be doubled, and then you throw the cooldown on top of there, which there's a 20% 20% cooldown decrease because of the vengeance. So yes, we do need to equip. Oh, and yes, make sure that he, he is locked. Perfect. Oh no, this one. Hello. Let's wake up. Lock this anim dude right there. Okay, now what is Endo called now? I don't even know. It was, oh, look he, Look at that eye. That's him right there, isn't it? Shiny, fortified, and those hero two. Let's go. Only 12 exist, and I got one of them. Yes, shiny, fortified, endo zero two. And he is still $500. We got to equip him. Hang on. Let's, let's equip him right now and click on him again. And what do we have? Only 12 exist. 120 damage on max level. The shiny gave us an additional 25%. We have withered on him. Do you think we should try and get a better enchant on him? Maybe, I think we might do that. Cooldown is 0 .02, and of course we have an additional 25% taken off of that because of Withered, and the range increases just a little bit. But he starts off at 60 damage, and uh, 0.2 is 1 fifth, so 5 times 60 is going to be 300, so 300 damage per second. That's not bad. He is single target though, so probably not going to be the best unit in the world, but at the same time, I don't know, maybe we'll try and get a different rank on him a different time. But what's also cool about this update that I absolutely love, check this out, we have a sixth slot. Now, that's absolutely crazy. I think you need 125 wins to get there. So some of the other YouTubers don't have this yet because they don't play the game like I do, but that's fine. And if you need to get 125 wins, it's actually not bad at all. Get that 125 wins so you can get this six slot. It makes picking these two damage and range boosters easy to put in those fifth and sixth spots. I am going to bring along the Nightmarian. I think I might try and get a better enchant on it instead of Puppet's Nightmare, but Puppet's Nightmare is pretty good. And then, of course, we're going to bring along Valkyrie Prime. What should we go check out? We do need to go check out the new Game 5 map because, well, I mean, it's brand new and it's pretty good and it's really hard. I don't think I'm going to do Nightmare Mode just because I don't think the Endo-02, what is his name, the Fractured Endo-02? The Shiny Fortified Endo-02, I don't think he's going to be able to carry and we definitely want to showcase today. So let's hop on in the game and check him out. Here we go. If you take a look at the rewards, notice they're very similar to, to Game 4. 
1%, 3% Eternal Glass, and then 100%, 1 to 3, 4 to 8 souls. And let's go to game 5. Is it still 1%, 3%, 4 to 8, and then 1 to 3? I wish they would have mixed this up a little bit more, but at the same time, it's fine. We'll try hard mode and see if we can actually get this Endo 02, this new Endo 02 to carry it all. But he is single target, but still, I mean, if you have a chance to evolve this one, you might as well, right? Okay, now, people are asking me throughout the day today, even on the live stream, which, by the way, thank you for joining my live stream today, if you did. Hell Mode, you get an additional 9 to 12, not additional, you can get 9 to 12 souls instead of the 4 to 8. So you definitely want to do Hell Mode if possible. You have a 0.75% chance of getting this present. This is where you get the he, him, or he, ha, or it's him tower, and then you get a 5% chance of getting an additional Agony. So, I mean, we'll try it, and I think you can get Hell Mode through Hard Mode, Impossible Mode, and Nightmare Mode, and oh, it just shut me out! It just shut me out, I didn't get it! Oh, man, I was too, it took me forever to talk about this, and how many can we place? You can still place for the R500, and I just don't think we're going to have enough firepower to carry, but, the, well, maybe at the beginning we can. Yeah, the fun time, what are those? The the ruin fun times Freddy? Yeah, they're trying they are trying to ruin our fun for sure. Damage booster, range booster, and max out. Let's take a look at these stats real quick. Damage is 257. This is with withered, by the way, so I do need to get a better enchant. Range 43. Cooldown is 0.15, which is nice. Okay, and that's with everything completely buffed. So he is kind of melting these enemies for what he actually is. And we do need to get down. Let's get down. Bam! Let's get down this anima dude with vengeance on it. 150,000 to completely max out. But this is literally going to be game over, especially for hard mode here. If we were on nightmare mode, then this would actually... I mean, the, the fortified endos, they would have a hard time. Now, what the heck is up with this anim dude? Yes, there is a massive nerf today. Because when he first came out, they had three placements for him. And if you're on my live stream, you actually saw that. Well, unfortunately now, he's down to one. And don't get me wrong, I'm, not, I'm actually not upset about it. I didn't think they were going to do more than one placement for this Anim dude. So I'm not upset about it at all. And actually, that's probably, maybe that was a little mix-up with the devs today. Because there is no way that you're putting three placements of this Anim dude. It would actually be silly for that. And then we saw the Knight Marion. He's not in the showcase today, but I mean, he kind of is. He's relatively cheap. He only does a cooldown of one. So that Music Man, I think that was the Music Man or something like that, that would have been really good to go along with this Nightmarian, but I think that needs to be fixed again, or at least fixed, because it sounds like, Music Man, it sounds like that that actually isn't working the way it's supposed to. Okay, let's play another game, and let's see, let's try this, let's do Hell Mode this time on the same map, here we go. Now we're going to select Hell Mode and see if we can actually sustain. This is still Hard Mode, but Hell Mode within Hard Mode, I guess. That sounds kind of weird. Alright, now we still have the 2600, and these enemies are flying at us a lot quicker, and I just don't think we're going to be able to sustain. We need to get down this Anim Scott really quick, this Anim dude, if we can at all possible. Yes, there he is. Now let's start to do some damage. Take him out. Another hit. One more hit. Please, please, please! Oh my gosh. Okay, we need to get a booster down. We need a damage booster, and we need to get a range booster down. See, I mean, these Endo 02s, they're totally cool. And if you are a newer player, if you can somehow get these on your team, then I would suggest doing so. But for most players, it's just not going to be advantageous for you because there's going to be other towers. Now, we do have our Nightmarians. There are two placements. Come on. Yes, I can place one more. There we go. I can place one more. And there we are. And I do like that they added the modifiers. That was a really great idea because it gives everyone a chance to get more rewards. So I, I really like that they did that. Okay, and 50,000 is coming at us shortly. And there we are, completely maxed out. So everything on the field right now is completely maxed out. Do I have anything else to place? So I can place my Vengeance Prime Valkyrie. Well, my, my Valkyrie Primes, that's what they are. I think I can place those. Yeah, you know what? Might as well place them. These things are just boss killers, but I guess I can't place them. Look at like, these these placements have to be fixed somehow. This is silly how I can't place it like where I want to right away. And what do we have? Can we need 80,000? There we go, 80,000 completely maxed out. We're on wave 14. One more placement. We'll be able to do one more, maybe two more, potentially, possibly, if we can at all. Squeeze them in right there. All right, there we go. Let's take a look at these enemies now. Now they're just getting completely obliterated on the map. 
They don't even stand a chance. This is not the best team, by the way, but still pretty cool that we have an evolved fortified Endo-02. The critical fun time, Foxy, he's going to be critically dead in just a moment here. Watch this. The animation is pretty cool. The design is really cool. Very nice. The developers did a really nice job with that. Okay, let's go back to the lobby. Oh, 11 souls! Let's go back to the lobby. So what does everyone think of the two new evolved units? Yes, there's one more unit that can be evolved. I just don't think that I have enough materials to evolve it. I'm not sure I want to evolve it right now. Well, let's see. I need... Do I have enough, actually? No, I do need to get, what is that, 20? I need 16 more Eternal Glasses, so I do need to grind for those. But I do have enough of everything else, ironically. That's cool. So we'll check out Plain Boy another day and see how good it actually is. I think there might be a couple videos on it by now, out on it by now, and that's totally fine. But, yeah, what do you what do you think about this new Evolved Scott, the Anim dude? What do you think about them nerfing it? Do you think that was a good idea, a bad idea? Do you think it was too overpowered with that? I mean, Vengeance is absolutely crazy. And then the Endo-02 unit. And I got a shiny version of them as well. But anyways, if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that notification bell. Thanks again for watching, everyone. Hope you have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!